Here we're asked to graph this exponential function. Now there's a number of ways to do that, but in this section we're going to choose to graph this by plotting points. Now x is the independent variable, so we're going to choose some negative values for x and some positive values for x. Let's go ahead and evaluate and see what we get. So g of negative 3 in this case would be 1 half to the negative 3 power minus 1. Now remember negative 3 power, that's the same thing as 2 or 2 over 1 to the third power minus 1 using the rules of exponents. We're going to reciprocate the 1 half and take that to the third power, that's 8 minus 1 which is 7. Okay, so negative 3 comma 7 should be a point on the graph. Now let's evaluate for all the other points as well. So here I've plugged in all the numbers and found the corresponding y values. Now we're ready to graph this on a Cartesian coordinate system. So let me draw that in. Okay, now let's remember what we're trying to graph. The, the graph here is g of x, which was 1 half to the x power minus 1. Okay, this was an exponential. So let's go ahead and uh, plot the points. So we have negative 3 comma 7, uh, negative 2 comma 3, uh, negative 1 comma 1, uh, 0, 0, scales off a little bit, 1 comma 1 half, um, 1 comma negative 1 half that is, it's a little squished, and then 2 comma negative 3 quarters. So you could see as x gets large, this whole exponential right here gets very small. So a very small number minus negative 1, or minus 1 there, tells me a very small number minus 1 that's going to tend towards negative 1. So that's telling me my horizontal asymptote is here at negative 1. It gets infinitely close, uh, but it never actually attains it. Now let me go ahead and draw that in. Here's my horizontal asymptote at y equals negative 1. And then let's connect the dots. You can see the general shape here. It's got to be asymptotic to that. It's going to look something like that. So let me go ahead and do that. And that's the best I can do here. So here's my points. Uh, you can see the exponential decay. My x and y intercept was the origin there, 0, 0. And the points get infinitely close to that line, y equals negative 1. Another way to look at this is to graph or consider the exponential one-half to the x power shifted down uh, one unit. But in any case, this is a rough sketch of this uh, function g of x here.